Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to Barvest Frontier as we continue on Tier 2. We're just following our friend Andon as he goes about his day working through the beautiful streets of Lonsville. Hope you're all well, guys. Welcome yourselves back on in. So we're just coming into early winter of Year 7. Everything's looking pretty good. In the last episode, we managed to get the farm pretty much ready for planting, actually. So we're going to get our first year of food here. And things are going to change. We've got a bit of hay coming in there. Hopefully, we can get fertility up. But actually, I'm thinking, do I... I'm going to cancel that. It was a bad choice because let's get flax. Now, flax has a terrible impact on fertility. But we're going straight into fertility there. And I can clear this year out now. Wanting, so let's work this out. That's plus two fertility, and the fertility is 3% on the clover as well. Weed levels still aren't the best, so I might do... Uh, that should be okay. We probably need to do another rake at some point, so we'll do one there, and then we'll get in something like leeks, I'm thinking, but the fertility is minus 5% on those. Maybe some cabbages, 4%. And let's go with the, the same we've always done. So we'll go heat tolerance and turnips here. I could flip these around, actually like that that should be good so we got a better year early on um but yeah we're going into peas there we'll see how we get on with that as we go forward let's put it to 2x as well actually let's just blast through the winter here and continue on but we're looking good i hope you're enjoying the series so far let me know your thoughts guys and yeah if you're enjoying the changes if you're following along from the seed in the first episode let me know as well i would love to know your thoughts what you're thinking so far if you got any good spots on this seed as well let me know i i'm quite liking where it started us though it's pretty cool slightly higher in the hills here as well and i'm not probably just thinking this is quite a big hill dip actually we could craft that into a really good if the walls are right out here we have some good height so that's my thinking anyway anyway we've got a wolf coming into town get absolutely annihilated as soon as he got in well done everyone um, we're pretty short on wood before we can actually start building more of the walls so i'm going to leave that for a little bit longer here i'm just going to remove the berries and bushes there and we're probably going to go around the map a little bit and see if we can grab some blueberry bushes from around and move those in. They're quite rare, but when you do find them, they're quite handy. All right, let's check in. Let's see. So we've got 10 laborers. I've only got on six builders there at the moment, so that will take our laborers down to four whilst we're building. So we've got to be really careful. Everything else is okay at the moment. We still had no deaths, so I don't need to worry too much on the... Uh, the grave front and things like that, but we will need to continue to get these houses in. Now, I won't need to build too many more because actually a lot of these are going to be upgradable, right? So we're very close. So in the re if we're being realistic, we should probably look at getting some kind of garden. And I think maybe over here. Now, that will only reach a few here, but we can buffer another one over here. Thinking my first one to kind of give these a good bit of a boost here. So if we go into the cost quite a bit, though, of... Yeah, they do cost a fair bit. 500 gold and 150. We could do that one. Or we could go into the festival pole, actually. 150 gold, and the reach is incredible on these things. Now, do we want to take up that space, or do we... I think that might be my bakery spot, I'll be honest with you. They It reaches for all of them over here, but I don't want to overtake those bushes. Right, we're being sensible. I think a festival pole over here is a good idea. It reaches all of them. I'm not sure. If I move over here a little bit, I think that's better. Because that'll reach our housing down here when we put them in as well, which I'm going to do. I'm going to get a, just a couple. A couple more. I'm actually going to leave just a... I think I might leave that slot there, actually. Let's start building along this here. Let's go two there. Let's just go with those two for now. I'm trying to think in my head about the gardens and things. As you know, I want to build a little bit of a beautification around here. And I'm trying to make sure we, we keep that going. Look at it as it thaws out. It's my favourite. So beautiful, man. You gotta love it, haven't you? Oh, okay. Early spring. It still says year seven. That didn't change. Year number eight. That takes a second to change, if I remember correctly. All right. Resource-wise, then it's looking pretty good. We've managed to get a few shoes in here and a few jackets. I'm going to continue to slowly bring them up as we make them as well, because that is something we can continue to do. And if we really wanted to, we could hope that we get a lot of baskets in. I'm going to keep hold of the soap for now. And we really need to get on top of the food situation here, which should be okay in a moment. Anyway, we're going to get our first yield here. And I think we did build our second food one, didn't we? So what I'm going to do with this one is actually say... I think I want my medicine and raw materials of those. I'm going to untick off this one. 
and I'm going to make sure it only goes in this one. And this one over here is more going to be along the lines of, I'll probably say no to the spices. We're going to say more yes to kind of like things we're going to actually produce over here, you know? I'm thinking maybe along that lines right now. So we'll just keep the meat and stuff out of there. But mainly crops is what we want going in there. Got our first trader making their way over as well. Usually a pretty wealthy one with that kind of cart. I'm really into a little bit of history recently and uh, like kind of medieval. I don't know that much about it, but I really do quite enjoy reading and watching things about it. It's one of those things, isn't it? Quite interesting. Let's see what you got for me then. Anything that I can sell to you would be great, but no. There you go. There's chickens. They're pretty cheap as well. I think I'm going to go with chicken barn as my first one. I'll be honest with you. You can't buy them anymore before you've actually got a place to put them, which is unfortunate bit of sand there as well let's have a look at making one of those then so if we go food production here we have a chicken coop right how big is it pretty small it's got a bad desirability but you can pretty much slot this in anywhere do something like this let's pop it over there if i can get this prioritized before that goes i might be able to buy our first chicken i'm gonna try it we're cutting down one of those at the moment we've got another trader coming in as well though but yeah absolutely love would love the chicken guys i just want to say a big thank you for the love on the videos so far as well you are great and i appreciate that it's uh pretty refreshing to see i do appreciate you watching oh look at that second trader has come in and they're buying baskets for really good 580 gold boom there's one way to get your stocks up right there oh shoes they were selling nothing else but that's a really really good buy right there is there anything we want to get from them beforehand i don't think so uh pelts though i would normally buy those in we could they were selling crossbows i'd buy those early as well but they're not Unfortunately, we're not going to get the planks in, I don't think, before that trader disappears. How many days is that trader staying for? 19 days. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're no good. Crops lost to disease as well. So we've got a problem with beans and peas. So what I'm going to do is actually bin that one off. Get in a late turnip frost over here, I think. So I'm going to bin that off. I hate how it does that drag thing. So we're going to pop the turnips over there. We'll go with that it's going to affect fertility but that's okay i think we'll be fine because once we start getting the compost on there and weed levels are trending down as well i'm pretty sure turnips grow fine weed suppression yeah so it's fine for 40 percent of weeds so you see the four out of ten i'm pretty sure i understand the farming quite well and it means that 40 percent weed level it'll grow at 100 percent, something along those lines so oh we did have enough planks no hurry up guys come on trade is gone though unfortunately so we're not going to be able to get the chickens this year Unless we get a third trader. We could request it, but I'm not going to do that. And there we go. First house upgrading too. Holy crap. I didn't realize the flagpole had already finished. Oh, I love this one. The thing of beauty, guys. That house, isn't it? Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. A little garden there as well. Our flagpole. Yes. The settlement is becoming a beautiful thing. We really need to focus on the trees here, though. So, the main thing is going to be getting this food up, which I think we're doing a good job on anyway. Um, as long as we're not building. We've got five months. We just need a bit more. And what I'll make sure we're doing is grabbing the closer trees as much as possible that are just, like, knocking about. Now, I've got loads queued up. It doesn't matter because you'll, you'll need loads as you go along anyway. It doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. A little bit of a fire. Not concerned. I am going to go ahead and keep this topping up as well. I'm hoping for a big sell on the shoes at some point. So that's going to be handy. And obviously the baskets as well. We could say keep stock of 10 or something. But if we do maybe 15 baskets. We'll keep stock of 15 baskets in here. Um, that will take out of ours. But that's okay I think. It was a good one. And then we've got our grazing area for the chickens. So we do need to fence this in. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with my first chicken bit. Over here. Obviously, we don't want... I need to make sure I can see where it is. So, this tree here, we're going to go with that line there, up to this bush here. If I start from here, I said up to that bush there, didn't I? I don't know how far it was over, though. Oh, we've missed it. Wrong bush. Right, I think I got it now. Yep, there we go. Perfect. So, if I come all the way down here, we should be able to fence this one in. I'm just going to bring it along here so their grazing area is slightly out. I might be able to move it up one as well. Um, but we'll want to get the fence in as well. So a, a little gate, maybe, into the chickens. Right at the back of the coop. Let's go there. And there we go. That should be all fenced in. And, uh, oh yeah, our chickens should be good. 
Beautiful. So we'll try and buy one of those in when we can. We're going to need something for them, obviously. So we're going to say maximum... Po oh, you can have 15 per coop as well, which is really good. So you get... Oh, you get eggs as well. Amazing. Oh, this is a game changer. I'm hoping at some point we get some kind of like restaurant where you can cook meals too. I think that would be incredible. You know? I think that would be super cool. What we could do is request chicken then. Just in case, because I want to get these. So if we go down, we can request... Are you sure you wish to request this item? Not be able to change your request. New item until after merchants... We're going to request chickens from the next trader. So next year we will be able to 100% buy the chickens in. Now they'll come in at a premium rate, but that's okay. You can see there's a little bit of complaint for water down here. So let's go ahead and get a well in over... Here. And yeah, with the... Oh, look, we've got three of the bigger houses. So with these bigger houses, you get an extra slot that's going to help massively and you don't have to uh, expand out too much. So villager is low on labours because we're building here. That should be okay, though. Be fine. We'll just need to keep on top of the wood. We can probably go ahead and reduce that down to one. I can see the firewood is okay. I could probably do the same with the planks. We've got four. So let's go down to three and just utilise those couple of extra hands here. And hopefully next year some will grow up. Because we've got 10 adolescents, that's going to change everything. I have noticed we do struggle a little bit with that stuff as well. But I'm, it's because I'm trying to build nice and quick. And actually, the way we have this set up, I reckon I can get another chicken coop right here. And I can move this, uh, this well maybe over here. Which I'm going to go ahead and do. So I'm just going to pop it there. I think that's sensible. It's slightly close to that one, but that'll be okay, I think. Predators attacking. Two villagers... No, we're good. I thought a villager died then, but no, they all managed to uh, to kill it. We're doing well. Oh, look at this. We've got an immigration coming. I told you, you can see it. Yes. How many? 12? Holy crap. 91 population already. Right. I'm going to let them all do their thing. 21 laborers. Hopefully, they'll all go out and chop like you would not believe. We're doing okay on stone, but I really want to be able to get this first bit of wall up before the next attack. And as you can see here, I reckon I can get this down now. So what I want to do is this. Pretty straightforward. I just want to fill out this little gap here and this little gap here. So, ideally this should run the back of here. Don't want to do too much really. Kind of encompass that well. Now we don't have the wood for it yet, but I think that's good. And this will be our first little estate and I can get the rest of the houses. Because when we upgrade this, keep in mind, when we upgrade this, all of this ring will be pretty big. So we'll factor that in to the wall this side. I think that should be okay. And what that will do for the raiders, hopefully, will mean they'll just come straight over here. I hope. If not, then it does hold them off whilst we uh, whilst we gather or populate the, uh, the tower as well. So I could go ahead and actually... I don't want to disable it. We might be able to for this year. Let's go ahead and do that, just to get that extra five gold per month. And the wall's going in super fast, actually. I didn't quite realise how quick they'd put that up. I think realistically as well, we can look at our next production chain here, because we have 73. We could go into pottery here, but we could also go into something else. And I think getting a dedicated work camp up in the mountain would be a really cool idea. We could just get them planting trees over here constantly. Now, we'll need to flatten out a bit of land to do that. So let's go something like that. I'm going to go over it twice. I know you can just do it in strips, but guys, I'm just going to do that. We'll get that flattened out. I'm just looking over some things, and we're, what we're, there's one thing we're going to have to consider, actually, is sand. So we may need to start buying it, because I'm not convinced we have any. Now, I could start looking, and I think that's not a bad idea. So if I just send, like, three flags, we'll start going out and see if there's a sand pit somewhat close. You know, um, I'm not expecting to be attacked for a couple of years, so I think I need to remember to put the, I think year 10 maybe I'll put that one back on, but look, the gold difference is worth it, I think. hate how the uh, fence actually does that. Huh. I think if we remove that bit of fence, it won't do that, though. That's better. Yeah, if we just get rid of that one piece, we should be okay. I can, I can cope with that little corner bit there, I think. Maybe not that one, but... That's fine. It looks a lot better. I hate how it had all the palisade things stuck out. Although it's kind of more realistic, I guess. Some of them are sticking out and stuff, but that's cool. 
I'm feeling a little bit better. That, they may still come round to do it, but actually they'll get more attracted towards this, I think, anyway. We'll see. Year number nine, though. Labour's looking good, so that should be fine. We'll check in on our farms as well. Everything's looking pretty healthy here, so I'm going to keep hold of all of this. We're probably going to get a little bit of a surplus to get our archer units as well early on. That could be cool when we get some infantry. But we are getting our first bit of flax now, so what I'm going to do is actually use that as our chain. So we're going to go into the flax building. I just need to find it again. We should be able to get our chickens now as well. So there's the weaver building. Pretty sure that doesn't affect desirability either. So it doesn't fit there very well. We could pop the... I want that to stay for baskets, actually. Let's go here for now with the weaver. And let's hopefully get a chicken from the trader. Get this wood in as well, guys. That'd be wonderful. We're still looking good on the firewood as well, surprisingly. And 93 on the population. May need to get. I want to aim for this 100, which is actually a very quick 100 here, if I'm honest. I'm going to actually just put a house or two... Here. I'll leave that little slot there. We can get a couple of gardens in that bit, I think. Let's go see if we've got our chickens. There it is. 180, though. Uh, we can do that. We'll take two. Three. Let's take three. And that should allow us to put them all in here. Beautiful. We have three chickens. Hopefully, there was some hen... A hen and a rooster. That would be nice. But yeah, we'll work on that. We're going to need some feed for these, obviously. So... Hunger. Let's have a look. We've got flax. Uh, we might need to take the hit and maybe get in some grain. So if I remove that, I think we can fit Put you in there. Might need to wait till next year. What are we going to do here? Take the hit on flax? I kind of want that flax. I won't lie to you. Right, I'm going to do it. Flax is going. I'm going to get hay up here. We're going to say from now. Can we? I know it's weird. But we're going to get that done for this year so I don't kill my crops. We'll get flax next year and then we'll get in a bean. So that should be fine. That is a heat tolerance. That should be okay there with what we have. And then we'll fix this year once that's done. A little bit cheeky, but uh, it'll do. It'll do. I think that'll keep our chickens alive for a long time. Now, storage-wise, for the hay, I wonder if it will go in the granary. Wheat and grains, but makes it difficult for rats and pests to deal. Now... What was it storing in then? Ah, you can store it over in one of these. So we could just have a storehouse for A then, over here. And then we'll, yeah, we'll assign that one. We're taking over a bit of eggs and stuff there, but that should be okay. Last lot of the walls going in as well. We didn't, I got that excited. I didn't check what else the trader had. I don't think they had anything for us though. That's why I want to get the flax though. It's a good sale there. And coal, I don't think, yeah, we may buy a couple of tools in with the rest. And then we're good. We've got the gold coming in either way. And uh, yeah, we'll get tool production. There's another trader coming here. Hopefully we can sell to them. And we should be okay. Impending heat wave though, that's going to affect this as well. So 959 from that. That should be okay. All right, let's see what this trader number two has before we move on. Yes, they're buying those. 340. Beautiful. Oh, shoes at an increased rate. Baskets. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, we could make money here. Look at this. 18 and 14. So we're going we're gonna to make some money. There we go. We just managed to make about 600 just by selling each for an extra four over to this trader from this one. You can have a look and do that sometimes, like pottery here. We've got no money left, but we could have done it there because we've just got the money in. Now, I'm going to get some more chickens. The quicker we can max this, the better for food, right? So they're obviously going to feed them veg until we get our hay. But then what we'll do, this should help us because we're starting to get some eggs already. So we're going to get that back tenfold, I think. And that's going to help really, really well. But yeah, I think we need to also factor in some other food sources. So I might get a second fisher place here. We've got a good amount of hunters. I think a second fishing shack wouldn't go amiss here. So let's pop one right here. And let's see if we can now build up here with our work. We can. Perfect. There we go. And what I'm going to do is just get it to build the trees all around this area. Work camp is going on there. Let's get a little road going up to that as well. Kind of want it curved. I think that'll look nice going up to that to kind of add a bit of flavor to the outer world. Slowly chopping away, making way for our work camp here. The beautiful work camp. All right, work camp has gone in now. Let's get this sorted. So ratio is always going to be wood. I think the best way to do this is one planting, one cutting, but you need the tier two work camp for that, I think. On tier one, it only does both. 
So I'm going to kind of get it on this fertility area. 73% is pretty good. It's going to be all over the mountain, but I think that'll look pretty cool. Forest on the mountain, you know. So there was a bear that came in, but our villagers managed to chase that away once more. So no more drama there. Clay's on 110. I'm going to leave that one ticking up. I'm not going to use that just yet once again. What's our problem here, chickies? Look at them. Is there any roosters? Oh, look, they're different colours too. I love it. I don't know if they have the male and female then, or they'll just be a birth rate in general for them. Something that, yeah, see, birth rate is one per year, so we should be okay. We're going to get a surplus of this now, so it's always going to be... Oh, I love it. We're, we're, so it's a permanent sl supply of eggs at the moment, but then hopefully we'll get a permanent supply of meat once it's maxed out. It takes a couple of years for that to kind of tick in then. But we have got our second fisher place in now as well. So let's get that one set. I think we can get 13 there. It's a 150% productivity there. So two fishing huts. That should help a little bit. And then the rest. Oh, the wall is in as well. It looks pretty cool now. We just need to go around the top and what we're going to do with that. So let me see. I think we could bring that. I think I need a gate over here first of all. So we'll pop that there. And then we'll bring the fence up this way. Uh, let's go like that. Looks like we might need to do a bit of flattening here, actually. Let's do that. We'll get a little bit of a strip there to flatten. I'll bring the wall around, and I think I will attach it, just to get the raiders to completely avoid our housing area, I think. It'd be nice to have the walls kind of help with desirability around the area, too. I think maybe a house here. I don't really want to get rid of those hawthorns, but I think I'm just going to have to do it. Got enough space for housing, but I think that would be a really good spot. It's just on the edge. So we should be fine. That shouldn't get any effect from the chicken coop or anything like that. All right, so we've got hay ticked on this one. That should go into there. There we go. 450. Beautiful. So we should be able to feed the hay into this one. They should prioritize that. Can't see a way to say only give hay in here. That's okay. What we can do is bin that one off for now and then look at what we're doing. So we've got flax and beans. I probably want to get... Just realized we could fit a rake in there. Let's do that. And then up here, we're going to go for a fertility into another beans. Hopefully, yeah, it's all it's all recovered, so we should be fine. At the, at the moment, we're only just keeping up with the food. But I am confident that should be good. I think we have enough. Have a look. So you guys, we're going to take that down to just one in there because they, they can't actually work at the moment until the flax comes in anyway. I'll leave her in, though, so we do have some. And what I'm going to do is go for the next resource. Now, I'm thinking fruit. And I'm thinking about getting an arborist area set up. Now, it's going to need to be a little bit further away, so we might need to prep some roads here. So I'm thinking we do just that to there. I'm going to grid this one up. That should get a nice straight road going up here. And let me go into the food production. So, arborist building got the clay we've got the planks it kind of makes sense now fertility is fantastic up here for the trees so let's get them kind of maybe the first one over here i think i'm gonna go the farms up this way anyway i wanted too close to that let's go there and then we'll probably plant some fruit, fruit trees just up in here i think that'll look quite nice over there now i was half tempted to play this a little bit differently have one housing estate here and then one all the way up here. Oh, look, there's coal there. I forgot that we did a bit of scouting. So we've got coal, more meat. There's fish over here, another lake. There's a clay there as well. This is really good. We've got plenty of water around it. I guess it is called Lowland Lakes. Um, yeah, the only downside is this map. You do get slightly re less resources. So I think sand is going to be something that we have to buy in potentially. Now I'll t send a flag up there. I think I'm going to go down the bottom a little bit more. Seems a little bit more safe down here, he says. I have no idea. It normally... So that's not a very big lake because it's letting me click behind it. You normally can't put a flag down if there's a, a lake there. So, all right, this should be flattened. So I might be able to actually get some more walls in along here as well. And I'm just going to speed it up through the winter. And there we go. We can we can wall that one off now. And you know what, even we, if they come through here and try and attack this fence as well to get into here, one tower over here with a bit of height. Let's test it. Let's see what kind of damage it would have. Yeah, look at that. Up here, it has a plus 10 near that gate. Incredible. Right, let's take a look. What have we got? The boar, I think, just on my, my, uh, my settler over here. Yeah, a couple of boars chasing him, unfortunately. Run! <laughs> 
Oh no, you, you might die to that boar, actually. Deadly things. No, you'll be okay. This is a, a larger lake. It's letting me uncover it. So much basket work that we could do on this map. It's pretty crazy, actually. We may need to, I think, just start buying in sand whenever we can. So this guy here, I'm actually going to grab this one. So once he's gone here, I'm going to grab him, send him out this way, I think. We'll see what's about. A lot more deer. Got an infinite coal again. Coal's not a big issue because you can go into the charcoal kilns and just work camps anyway. Not as efficient, but... Yeah, there's no real way. It'd be nice because you can get the infinite stone. It'd be nice if you could grind it down into sand as an option as well. I think that'd be pretty cool. I'm going to let you kind of go home. I'll let you walk there and then go back because I'm not seeing any more over here. All right, one more piece and our wall has completed. for our little, uh, little housing estate here, so that's good. Let's see if we get a couple of births on the chicken this year as well. That would be nice. They've kind of taken all of my root vegetables. I really don't want the root vegetables to go into here. Because that is all of our food gone, you know? My uh, my people just fighting off bears up here. <laughs> Good job. It's clay. Yeah, we're not seeing anything else, unfortunately. Yeah, number 10, though. We killed two predators. Um, just randomly killing a load of bears up here. My uh, one hunter is. You'll have to go fetch that and get the gear. Oh, here we go. We're seeing... See, oh, you get some good waste out of this as well as compost. But I'm seeing a good amount of eggs here, so that's good. I'm hoping they get rid of those root vegetables now. We should probably go in... Is it preservist? Can we do preservist yet? Or is that tier 3? Pretty sure it's tier 3. Yeah, preservist tier 3. Same as cheese maker. Anyway. Arborist, it is time. So, let's get you... Nice little zone here, and we're going to go with Peach. Peachy boys. I'm just going to slow it down because the traders are arriving as well. Let's make sure we can fit as many we can in here. I just go around in a circle. It's not the most efficient, but it'll do. There we go. Loads of trees there, and let's see what the trader has to offer here. See if there's anything we can kind of sell once more. There's coal, there's iron, no sand. I would have bought that, actually. That's probably would have been a good idea. Tools, though, for cheap. That's always a good thing to buy in early on. That actually improves the amount we get. So let's just buy some tools. That'll do for now. We've got a good amount of money in as well. Predators chasing us. I think I'm going to turn the tower on. I don't know when they're going to come. So I'm just going to pop that on for now. And we'll get the two soldiers geared up. Because that could be this year. It comes around autumn time usually. We shall see. Hunter's dealing with the boar. You got this, mate. That's a good amount of meat right there. Why are you running? Oh, you... You can take that shot. Oh, the other hunters are killing it anyway. There we go. Get those carcasses, guys. Once again, though, food obviously being an issue here. We've gone into flax this year. Fertility's looking good. I would love to get a second farm, but I'm concerned about labours here. Although, we're going to have arborist and fruit, aren't we? That is only one, though. And they do run out pretty quickly. Maybe we do a smaller farm. What do you reckon? I think that might be a good idea. More than long. We can always expand it, can't we? That's a five worker field right there. And what I can do is actually set the fence to kind of be similar. That'll do right there. We'll just get a second um, field in. I think they're the best way for us to get food, especially if they're going to keep putting the veg in here. <laughs> We're getting some eggs. It's not amazing. We've got seven chickens, though. They're pretty healthy. I don't know if we need to herd more in there as well. We'll try because it might need uh, egg collecting from those guys as well. So let's do that. Yeah, one more house in, and I think I'm going to go ahead with a little bit of this. I'm going to go and get a little bit of decoration for these guys. So, let's get some of the longer gardens placed. So, we've got a square there we can do something. Let's actually put the uh, strip. I want to get their desirability up to upgrade these houses. So, I think I'm just going to have two strip gardens there for now. They do cost 25 gold each, so you need to be careful. That bores once more. Hopefully the hunter can take the boars out. Come on, you got this. You win that. Yeah, boars are a bit strong. Although it's backing off and he's just pulled out his bow and arrow and he's dealing with it. Nice. God, don't miss. He's whiffing all his shots. There you go. The boars just give us so much meat. All right, let's head on over. Second trader is in. And they're buying baskets. You legend. 210 gold. Nice. Anything else we can do with you? Don't think so. We could buy in the smoked meat, but I was looking for grain. Grain is usually, you can buy it in for like one gold per, and it's pretty straightforward. Oh, baskets as well. 
Did I even sell them? There we are. Oh, we're topping it straight back up. Nice. Thousand gold. I'll leave it in there for now. I'm hoping for... Did you have sand, actually? No sand. That's fine. All right. Did you get your first yield of flax? It looks like you might be getting your first yield of flax here. So we should be able to start knocking up a few of our linen clothing for everyone here to uh, further increase stuff. We're not getting population boost here, and it's purely because our food is so far down. I'm pretty sure the only other way we can do this is probably getting into more gatherers here, and I'm looking... It's all medicine, though, really. I mean, there's some nuts and stuff, but there's not as many cabbage plots and stuff. There's a little bit down here. So you're looking pretty good. We did move you, and your slot's not that great, actually. Let's get your ring over here a bit more. Let's grab all that stuff. I might get another gatherer. Lots over here. Mushrooms. It's all patches of different stuff, though. Anyway, a third trader. Do you have anything for us like sand? Because we need... Yes, there we go. And it's cheap. So, I'm going to be really sensible here and just get a bunch in. And uh, that means we're good to go for sand if we want to start anything with that. And we'll just keep buying it in whenever we can. There's horses there. 770 per horse as well, so that's going to be quite the costly endeavour once we go into cavalry here. Just noticed we can buy from him, sell to the other one. Let's buy and stock, and then go back to the other trader. Sell. Let's actually keep that non dingy now. Alright, we sold everything we can to this trader here, and we've... Yeah, we made a couple of hundred with that as well. That's ideal. All right, let's have a look into our resources then. So baskets, we could get another weaver shop. I'm looking at the stuff here. That's going to last for ages, which is nice. We've got so much willow, so I think we're going to get another one. And it is the easiest one to keep as well. So let's just pop another one of them. Oh, raid. Hello. 16 this time. So let's ring the bell. Let's grab our hunters. We've got our tower in, so I was right, which is good. So let's see where my hunters are. So you can come over. What are you doing? You're out there, so can you come over as well? And you can come over, perfect. And we're going to play. I'm going to slow this down to 1x. We've got a split attack here. I'm hoping these guys don't go for the walls. Oh, they're going for it. Okay, that's actually not bad. That's going to hold them off. So what I'm going to do is grab the hunters then. Are you a hunter? You are. Come and shoot. Are you a hunter? You are. Come and shoot. Come and shoot this. Pretty sure the other hunters will be okay. Can you come down here as well? There we go. We're going to take one out, I think, here, which is going to be good. Oh, man. We need to be careful. Let's grab that other hunter there as well. Bring you over. And another one. He's still going, so I'm going to get him to pelt a couple of arrows. He's managed to single a couple out, which is good. There's a little bit of armor on these guys, so we do need to be careful. And they are through. Now, we do have our other hunter here that should be able to come and deal with this. So I'm going to take them over to the market, hopefully. All right, there's our three hunters. I could probably group these onto uh, the tab, actually. Let's try it. I can't. You can only do it with soldiers. That's fine. Come on, and pelt them into there. That would be good. So they are still choosing to go for this. They've got a little bit of meat, but nothing else. Let's grab these guys over. So they're going to come through. And they're kind of stuck on the uh, the wall anyway, aren't they? Before they can even get in. I don't know if the town hall is going to be able to reach, though. Not convinced. These guys are good, though. Let's see if we can send them in anyway. I reckon they'll probably be able to take them out here. A little bit of breakage there. That's fine. Yep, they're going straight in to uh, annihilate them in the back whilst they're hitting the wall, actually. Got to be careful. Going to lose a hunter here. Run, run. Keep running, dear. Oh, no. Careful. But I'm trying my hardest not to get them killed here. I think they win this. They do. They win this. Are we... Did we lose someone? Get you out of there. Get out of there. You're good. And they've got an archer back here, which they seem to be fighting each other. I think we're okay here. I think we survived just fine. Hunter's still intact, so a little bit of micro there, and we did manage to keep them all alive. That's good. I think that's a... They may have got away with 20 meat, so I think we might have to put a tower of some kind just here. Now, if we put it by the wall, maybe, I just need it to cover this area, really. We've got enough gold to do it if we want, so... Right, leave them alone, then. We should be fine. 
We managed to kill 13, so we may have got our meat back. I didn't see, though. We do have a food shortage, too. Crops ready for assignment. Perfect. Let's get a, a year of raking. Maybe another one. And then straight into a year of beans. We might need to add a little bit of sand to these, actually. This is going to help, isn't it? Add a little bit of sand to that one. A little bit of clay. That should keep us good. There we go. A, a decent little... Uh, defense on us there we we managed it we managed it just fine we're looking pretty good we're healthy i think we might have lost a little bit but that's fine 20 meats i love the new arrows indicating where they're coming from that's a big help so they are able to come around from over here that's fine i'm not concerned about that anyway 16 though at the moment we, we're handling that just fine without anything really we've got the one tower they didn't even get over here so we didn't need these guys in here really which is interesting Gonna disable it again. Let's have a look. Oh no, we killed them before they were able to pillage anything, and we killed thirteen. They managed to destroy one wall, one thingy over there, so we're looking good. And crops lost. Ross fifty-five beans. We desperately need to get some food in here. This isn't good. Now for this year over here, we need to consider what we're gonna do. I think we need to go maybe like beans into carrots over here. Gonna try that for that year as well. We'll see. We uh, happen to have 107 honey in stock as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get 100 straight across into that to hopefully sell. We've just managed to get five months of food back in now. So we must have caught and smoked up. So we're, we're good. We're surviving. I've just realized kind of awkward where I've put that on that infinite clay. But it's not something we need to worry about just yet, I don't think. How are we looking? I really want those root vegetables to come out of there. Now, good news is... One, yeah, there we go. They're gone. So we, they're going to rely purely on the hay, which is great. And we'll keep a close eye on the hay. At the moment, we've got loads anyway, so we should be fine. And I think our next one is going to be Candle Shop as well, because we've got 46 wax here. You should look at the goat stables, because I'm sure you're going to be able to get milk from those as well. No, actually. So a goat produces meat, leather, and tallow. Can't get goat milk. Unless it does, actually, because a normal barn says just meat. Uh, so we might be able to. I think we need a heavy tool. And then we can go into the bakery as well and bake bread then. That will be the second bit of uh, food requirements that we always get in that will make money as well. I think if we get pottery, we'll also be able to make good money. But I'm looking at it and it's looking quite healthy. You know? But guys, it's going to be where we end this one out deep into the winter of year 10. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, smash that thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, please do. And if you want to support me that little bit extra, consider a membership on the channel. As always, guys, take it easy. Have a great day.